War or better? The estimated losses from different wars over the last five years is as follows. 13% loss of global GDP. 91 countries involved in some kind of conflict. $17.5 trillion cost of war and violence. 12.9% of global GDP spent on military expenditure. 455,000 direct deaths from violence. 100,000 civilians intentionally targeted and killed. The ongoing wars have resulted in significant losses beyond financial costs. These include human rights violations, displacement and migration, loss of infrastructure and heritage, environmental damage, psychological trauma and mental health issues. It's important to recognize the comprehensive impact of wars which extend beyond economic losses. Wars have devastating consequences including loss of life, displacement, destruction of infrastructure, economic strain. What could be an ideal alternative solution to such destruction? Creating and investing in jobs. Investing in job creation, education, and sustainable development can promote stability and prosperity. It's important for governments and international organizations to prioritize diplomacy and conflict resolution and allocate resources to foster economic growth, innovation, and social progress. Jobs and economic opportunities can play a significant role in reducing the likelihood of conflict and war. When people have stable and fulfilling work, they are more likely to be invested in the communities and have a stake in peace and stability. Additionally, jobs can provide a sense of purpose and dignity which can help to counteract the appeal of extremist or violence ideologies. By creating and promoting job opportunities, especially in areas where unemployment and poverty may be high, we can help to build more resilient and peaceful communities. Encouraging warring nations to understand the value of jobs and economic opportunities in promoting peace and stability can be a complex challenge. Here are a few potential strategies. International organizations, organizations like United Nations, World Bank, and International Labor Organization can facilitate dialogue and share research on the link between jobs and peace. Economic incentives, highlighting the economic benefits of peace, such as increased trade and investment, can resonate with nations. Conflict resolution initiatives, encouraging dialogue and collaboration on joint economic projects can help build trust and force to peace. Shared goals, emphasizing shared goals like poverty reduction and economic growth can help nations see beyond their differences. Grassroots efforts, supporting local initiatives and entrepreneurship, can demonstrate the power of jobs in promoting peace and stability. These approaches can help, but it requires persistence, collaboration, and a willingness to listen and understand different perspectives from the various governments and the general public. Wars loud drums beat out a lie. Promising solutions, but only bringing despair to the sky. Destruction and cries in its wake. Leaving hearts broken, lives shattered, and hope to forsake. For in the end, when the guns fall still, we see the ruin, the loss, the forever broken will. War's dark shadow casts a long, grim tale, reminding us that love, not war, is the only way to prevail.